Chris Sauve is a graduate of Carleton University and is now working as an FED lead at Shopify. So I thought about boring people, people who were boring in some ways, but who did incredible things in others. And I looked for traits and behaviors that they had in common. The first thing I found was that boring people who did amazing things wrote things down. Now, why do we have to write things down? Well, first, let's think about how many things we can actually remember. This was George Miller. He wrote a research paper. He argued that our short-term memory, our working memory, was limited to about five to nine items. Now, think about your schedule. There are dozens of events, meetings, appointments, classes. On average, people had about 50 simultaneous things going on. They're all wearing on your brain. They're all using that same five to nine items. We are terrible at remembering what we have to do. So the only logical thing then is to give that off to an external tool that can do it better than us. There are agendas, to-do lists, calendars, notebooks, simple, boring things. And when we offboard that information to them, what we can do is we can focus all of our attention onto just one or two projects at a time. Second thing is they reduce to the essentials. Barry Schwartz talks about this idea of the paradox of choice, and he looks at all the different things we can buy, and all the different restaurants we can go to, all the different jeans we could purchase. We know that we now have too many choices, that those choices start to hurt us, because we're afraid of making the wrong choice. This is what Apple co-founder Steve Jobs wore almost every single day for more than a decade. President Obama says that he only has two colors of suit. He's got a blue suit and he's got a gray suit. But what these guys knew about was this idea of a mental energy pool. So we only have a limited amount of mental energy that we can devote to decision making. We are so exhausted by choosing what to wear, what to eat, what to buy, that we can't make good decisions on the important things. So how do we manage this? If it's something you don't love and it's something you don't have to do, just eliminate it. The tougher one for most people, if it's something you don't love, but it's something you have to do, what are you going to do about that? We need to automate them. We need to make the same choice every single time or we need to let someone else make the choice for us. I eat chicken and potatoes pretty much every night for dinner. Because I'm not worn down by all the decision making on the mundane things I don't care about, I'm able to give my entire self to making the things I love amazing. And the third thing, stop and question. Because the problem with the first two things is that people do them extremely well and their life goes on autopilot. But we have to continue to question those things. We have to make sure that they're not stale. We have to make sure that they still have value to us. You can see more on Chris at lemondesign.co.